Good morning. I want to welcome you back to Morning Moments with Jesus. Yesterday we began our study on 1 Corinthians 15, 58. It says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. And we talked about yesterday about the importance of being a believer in Christ Jesus and that word brethren, how it is so important that we first establish that. And speaking of establishing, the second word that that the Lord brings out of this verse is the word steadfast. And that word steadfast simply means to be settled or established. See, the second thing in building a foundation for this upcoming year that is so vitally important is that once you know that Jesus Christ is your personal Lord and Savior, then you have to rely on the principles and the standards that He has already established for everyone's life. Those principles and standards are set to guide us to deliver us, to heal us, uh, to make us love one another, to bring us through whatever is going on in our lives. Those standards that Christ not only established, but that he died for and that he, he lives for now have guided everyone through their lives. So today the Lord calls us to be firm and to be strong and to be confident in our faith. To not waver from that, but to be steadfast in our principles. I believe the Lord is telling someone this morning, do not be shaken or agitated by the strifes, the temptations, and the cares of this life. There may be some things going on in your life right now that's trying to get you to compromise. It's trying to get you drawn away from the principles that you've always built your integrity and your character upon. The Lord calls today for you to fix your heart, your mind, and your soul firmly on the standards of Christ. Never give place to the power of sin or the philosophy of this world, or the tricks of the enemy. Because they are all designed to draw you into a spirit of compromise. And although we should always be willing to be at peace with others, it should never be at the cost of our principles and the biblical standards of our God. You know, I'm reminded in Romans chapter 12, that Paul writes this, Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. What does that mean? That means being steadfast, settled, and established in what you believe that comes after you're a believer in Christ, then you, we need to get into the Word and understand what He desires from us, what He has commanded us, what he, the instructions He has given us. And all of those things will help lay a foundation that will get us through this next year. So I pray a blessing over you today that you won't compromise anything that compromises the Word of God and those things which have already been settled in your life. Just spend a little time with Jesus today. He'll keep you safe, He'll keep you strong, and you know He'll keep you blessed. But be steadfast. Lay a foundation based on the principles and the standards of our Lord. He'll never send you in the wrong direction. I pray you have a great day today. Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. Until then, be steadfast and have a great day.